Hey guys, this is Haley from BoneOnRabbits.com and in today's video, I have a super exciting video for you guys. I am going to be showing you guys the brand new bunny room tour. And I am so excited for this video because I've been waiting so long to finally have an entire bunny room just for Sterling and Ebony. So without further ado, let's just go ahead with the tour. So when you walk into the bunny room, I have these rugs laid out. These rugs are all machine washable and they're from Ikea. Over here, I just have some pine blocks kind of stacked up. The bunnies have been knocking these over so many times as I've been getting ready to film this video and Sterling's probably gonna do it. Nope, he's running out. <laughs> and then behind that, I just have this double woven seagrass mat. I actually sell these on my store at 101rabbits.com. And next to that little mat, we just have this old seagrass basket that was actually from Ikea but it is no longer a basket. It is quite destroyed. Uh, they very much liked that. And then I have some chunked willow. So this is more of like the thicker branches of a willow and then a little Jerusalem artichoke too. So then right over here, we have their Ikea doll bed, which they're absolutely love them. I've got two of them side by side and then just like a green towel on top. But then on top of that, we also have part of the seagrass basket that is destroyed and then a couple other chews that I will show you in a second but right below that we have some hay toys so we've got two little hay rollers I've got some orchard grass and timothy hay in there and then we have this extra large seagrass mat that I just got for them. Like I said, my rabbits love seagrass, so they are probably gonna destroy this very soon. I just put it in like a minute before the video so it wouldn't be destroyed. And then I just have some sticks on that mat and then this little pine, I think it's made out of pine. Um, it's just like this little chew toy that they can toss around. And then I also have this little wooden roller toy right next to the little hay dispensers. But on the corner of the Ikea bed, oh, Sterling. <laughs> He's like, excuse me, this doesn't belong over here. I, I'm just gonna move it. Please, thank you. <laughs> He's like, okay, I'm leaving now. Anyways, on the corner of the Ikea doll beds, I just have this little, I think it's called like a kudus or something. I can't remember the name. Uh, this little vine toy. And then some baby chains just hanging on the corner because they were already in the bunny room. So I just was like, okay, I'm just gonna throw this here. So really no rhyme or reason. So these are just some of the chews I have on their Ikea doll beds. I think I have a mixture of apple sticks, willow sticks, and then over here I have like a little, I think it's a Jerusalem artichoke stick as well. Um, so I just have like a little variety of little chews that they can uh, chew on and play with in this area. And then I also have this little Timothy twist from Oxbow that's underneath the seagrass basket that Sterling just moved. Uh, so that's up there as well. So after the Ikea doll beds is the landing of their ramp, which <laughs> leads to their shelf area. But underneath the ramp, we have some brown paper packaging. My rabbits love to destroy this stuff. They love to shred it, just like move it around, throw it. It's just like fun and entertaining for them. So I just have that under the ramp. And then I also have this little Oxbow carrot chew toy. I think it's made out of Timothy hay. So that's basically it for this half of the room. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what's on the other side now. So over on this side of the room, it is a little bit more bare. I'm waiting for a Heidi house that I ordered that's gonna go right in this area, but it hasn't come in yet. So for now, this is what it looks like, but in this big square tan area, this is actually a bed sheet that I'm using to cover puzzle mats. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you this area in detail now. So right here I have their water dish, which is just next to the register. And then over here, we just have some of these hanging, I think they are peeled, they're either peeled willow or they're vine toys. I can't remember what they're made out of, but I basically just pounded tiny little nails into the bottom of their shelf and then hung the little toys from there so that it just kind of looks all nice and cute. And then under that, I have a Oxbow Timothy, I think it's called a bungalow. It's made out of Timothy hay. And then I also put Timothy hay inside of it. And then on the middle of the floor, I do have this willow ring, which my rabbits are completely obsessed with. I was trying to keep it all nice before the video, but the bunnies kept stealing it and running away with it. But I managed to keep it quite nice <laughs> so that I could show you guys what it looks like, but it will most likely be destroyed in about an hour. 
but the bunnies love these mini willow rings. I have them for sale on my store, 101rabbits.com, if you guys want to check them out for your bunnies. So along this back wall, we have their three ginormous hay boxes. And this might look a little bit excessive and you might wonder why I have three of them and two giant litter boxes. Uh, the main reason is I really like the way it looks. I think it looks really nice. And the large litter boxes are actually really great for bunnies. Rabbits should be able to jump in a litter box. They should be able to move around, turn around completely. And if they can't, the litter box is too small for them and they should have a larger one. Um, so these litter boxes give them plenty of room and you should always have more than one litter box if you have more than one rabbit just because some rabbits can be territorial over litter boxes and kick the other rabbit out. So if that happens, they have another litter box they can go into. So that's why I have this setup. Um, but I also have three hay boxes because at one point, uh, Ebony was housed alone, Sterling was housed alone, and Lulu was housed alone before I had bonded everyone. So because of that, I had three separate hay boxes. Um, Lulu doesn't use a hay box anymore because of arthritis. So Sterling and Ebony get all three of them. So that's basically why I have three hay boxes and why I use them. Oh, and the litter boxes are just storage containers from Walmart. I think they're about $20 a piece, which is honestly a really good deal for this large of a litter box. So next to the hay boxes, I do put this little pine divider uh, next to it simply because my rabbits, if they are to the side of the hay box, they'll try to eat out of it without sitting in the litter box. And then they think they're in the litter box, but they're not, so then they tend to go to the bathroom there. So that's why I put the divider there so that they have to be in the litter box when they eat out of the hay boxes. Uh, it just helps cut down on accidents for me. So then below that, I have a couple of toys for them to play with. I have this completely destroyed Willow TP. I'll show you what they're supposed to look like in just a little bit. But you can see my rabbits absolutely love them because this is all that's left of that Willow TP. And then I just have this metal ball that I filled with mountain grass, which is just a type of grass hay. And then I have this herbal hay braid, which my rabbits absolutely love to chew and destroy. And then I have a little hay cube. I believe it's out of meadow hay, but I can't remember the exact hay that was used for the hay cube because I threw away the packaging, but my rabbits really like those. And then right here, I have a bag full of orchard grass. And then I sprinkled lavender and chamomile inside, which are just natural herbs that rabbits can eat. Herbs are really helpful for rabbits who aren't as interested in hay because it can kind of make the hay smell better and just make them want to eat it more. I also am selling herbs on my website, which is super exciting. I absolutely love uh, adding herbs to my rabbit's diet. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you the shelf area of the bunny room. My rabbits are absolutely in love with this area. They literally sleep in that hidey house on the top shelf all day long. Like they love it so much. So this is the ramp leading up to the first shelf. And then the first shelf is this long, narrow shelf that I have in front of the window. And then after that, I have a very short <laughs> little ramp that leads up to their corner shelf, which is where their hidey house is and where they sleep all the time. So after the ramp, we just have all of these little sticks and chew toys on top here. Sterling absolutely loves this little pine rattler toy. He throws it around all the time. And then over here, we have the willow teepee, which my rabbits absolutely love these as you saw from before from the destroyed one but they actually last quite a long time like it takes them quite a while to be able to destroy it to the point where they can't use it anymore that's why I really like these because they last like so long and they're also chewable so anyways my bunnies love these if you want one you can buy one on my shop on 101rabbits.com but then inside the little willow teepee I have another one of these little oxbow timothy braids so then after the willow TP, we have another little stick here that the bunnies have already started nibbling on. And this is their little corner shelf area. I have two blankets from Ikea. They were about $20 a piece, I think but I really like the way they look because they match the rugs and like the color scheme I kind of have going, which is kind of like a naturalistic type look. But then as you can see, I have this little seagrass TP type tunnel system thing. The bunnies have destroyed most of it because it's been in here for a while, but 
yes, they really enjoyed that. Then in the corner here, I do have a variety of chews that they can chew on. And then back in this corner, I have a little twig tunnel. I honestly don't really like this tunnel. It's from a pet store and my rabbits don't really enjoy pet store toys very much. Like they chew on it like twice and then never chew on it again which is why I don't really like it. So inside their hidey house, I have another double woven seagrass mat. This one is quite destroyed at this point, um, like half of it is missing, but I really like to put these mats in their hidey house because Sterling and Ebony both have this habit where they really like to dig in their hidey house. So if you provide something for your rabbit to dig on, they will most likely dig on that instead of like the blankets and destroy the blankets. So this has been really nice so that my bedding doesn't get completely destroyed. So they are just kind of chilling and sleeping in there. So I'm gonna stop bothering them now. So that's basically it for my bunny room tour. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing everything that I have inside of the bunny room. I'm so excited with how it turned out and I actually have a couple more ideas on how to make it even more cool. I really wanna add a diggy box. And like I mentioned before, I really wanna add another hidey house. So that will be really exciting. But that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to check out my shop if you wanna see some of the items that I mentioned in this video, and I will see you guys very soon on a new video. Bye!